Well, I'd suggest, Mr. President, in recent years, we've noticed a trend in the budget resolution debates that's a little disturbing. We seem to be getting more and more bogged down in so-called extended debate of the sense of the Senate resolutions. And as we both know, Mr. President, these are resolutions that do not carry the force of law. They're resolutions that do not shift a single dollar from one program to the other. These resolutions merely politicize a budget process that is, is really creaking under the weight of unending, unlimited amendments. Mr. President, a brief look at today's Senate calendar indicates that there are as many as 80 amendments that we will be voting on beginning Tuesday or Wednesday. Of those amendments, at least one in four or some 20 our sense of the Senate amendments. We've already voted on several such sense of the Senate amendments, and more are likely to come. Mr. President, the sense of the Senate amendment that are offered on these budget resolutions are structured with only one and only one purpose in mind. And let's be realistic, Mr. President. That's an opportunity for senators <clears throat> on either side of the aisle, whether it be Democrats or Republicans, to develop ammunition to be used in some 30-second spot ad in the next political campaign. These votes are, are not about substance. They're strictly about politics, positioning, window dressing, and so forth. Instead, these votes, which are merely political gestures, will be portrayed by the political ad merchants as votes cast for or against the poor, the elderly, the environment, the cause, whatever. And when all the dust settles late Wednesday night after we've allowed 30 seconds to one minute of debate on each of these amendments, nothing, absolutely nothing, will have changed in a substantive sense except the records of all members of this body will have simply been distorted.